Perfect. That's another big thing too. Like smiling faces, reactions. Those are all those things that are very important. It really helps the, the edit. So that's going to be a good clip for there. Going to go I for the intro, O for the out point, hit the combo button for it to insert. So let me just review that, you know, good movement going across. We're looking for some reactions, smiling, good clip. Right there. Perfect. So as we move on through this whole process, other things that we like to do to help the timeline stay organized is one, we can kind of coordinate the different colors of the clips, right? So let's say this section here is with all the girls walking into the restaurant. Just real quick, I'm going to come in. I want to make sure set the frames. So all the clips are wide. So with them coming in, I know it's this clip there to here. I'm going to go and I'm going to label it. And I usually just start from the first one and work my way down. So this one's going to be Iris. Actually, that's a different one because that's the color that we're on right now. So let's go to the label. It. We'll go with Violet. So now we know the Violet is all that's going to be the girls walking in all the time. And then something else that we want to do is we're going to hit M, not on the clip, because if you hit M on the clip, it's actually going to put a marker on the clip. We're looking for a marker on the timeline. So here, we're going to double click and we're going to name it girls walking in. Just move the duration a little bit there. Perfect. And now coming in here, we know that all of this is going to be the girls walking in into the timeline. This just helps the, for referencing what we're draw working on the edit. Somebody else used to come in here and look at the footage, look at the timeline. They're able to go through here very quickly and see what clip is what. So we're just going to repeat this process for the rest of the edit. All right. So here I already, already went through all the clips of them grabbing the drinks. So I'm going to come in and set to frame. And then I'm just going to label these a different color. We'll name these mango, um, drinks. So I actually go ahead and do the same thing for these since they're all the same color. Set to frame, highlight them. And I'm going to put them to mango then. And then of course, you know, if you can match the color of the clips to what the marker is even better, but you know, there's more colors for labels than there are for markers. So this doesn't necessarily always have to be, you know, a rule, but it would just helps for visually to just be a little bit easier. And like I said, we're going to go ahead and complete this process for the rest of, um, the project. So let's pretend that at this point, we already went through all the clips on here, and this is all in this timeline. And we'll actually repeat the same process for the draw. So come in, then go to the drone, click on this clip. Perfect. So this is where the clip stopped. I want to make sure that we're stopping here and there. Oh, add that to the timeline. See, like that was too fast, kind of jittery. It, it was really hard for me to use that clip, especially because this is a 30 frames per second shot. Pulling back. Perfect. That is good. Go stop there. Oh. This I'm just flying, checking my Australian areas, making sure I'm not flying to anything else. Going back here. So here's a pretty good spot. Probably end there before we get to the guy there in the black. So we'll end that right here. Oh, I didn't hit here. Then to check the rest of the clip. Perfect. Go right there. And at this point, as I'm going through the edit, I'm always just re-hitting I if I think that the clip is restarting. And so I can always go back. So for here, as you see, you know, the camera's starting to move. So I hit I, except I think that's the new start point. I hit I. Perfect. And then there, next clip. So we jump to this one here. I forgot to make sure that I was in order. So make sure that you do that. So there we got a little wobbly. I'll probably end that clip here. And it's a longer clip, about a minute long. But like I said, if it needs to be longer than that, that's fine. But typically for B-row shots, we're looking for, you know, the five seconds to 10 second mark. But it can go longer if it needs to go shorter. 
So that's a nice little clip I'm going to end and add there. No, this one's four seconds long. Then the last clip we add to lock is going to be this one. And normally some of the mouse that you can see is the clips that we already use on the timeline. They have the little window, the little square here. That means that these clips are actually already being used inside of the project. As you can tell, there's nothing here for this one. So that little window is not there. I know that this clip I still need to take a look at. So we're at the beginning. Perfect. So like the camera stops right before there, go into here, add that to the timeline. End it there and perfect. So now we know, so this is different color. And for this instant, it's just the drone shots. We don't necessarily need to label this one because it is by itself. There's not a bunch of different shots. Now let's say that this is a bigger project and we have a lot of different shots from all over. Maybe it's a city, maybe it's the beach. Then you want to come in here, do a marker and you know, we name it beach draw. And then if there's the city shots, we'll put it here that way. Like I said, if somebody comes in to look at the project, they can easily identify what each shots are.